Well, for several months now, we have been pressing state and local leaders about making pedestrian safety improvements on Niagara Falls Boulevard. And because of our reporting, both local town and state officials have started making changes to protect you. Well, tonight we're getting an exclusive look at the results of a report done by the towns of Amherst and Tonawanda. Two on your side's Emily Lampa breaks it down as we continue to hold the powerful accountable. Well, this right here is the Niagara Falls Boulevard Pedestrian Road Safety Audit. It's a joint effort between the towns of Amherst and Tonawanda, which of course share this state road as a border. Back in June, they sent auditors for a walk up and down this corridor to document the pedestrian experience in the hopes of convincing the state that there are improvements that can be done now. The area audited Ridgely North to East Robinson Road. Over the past five years, there were six pedestrian fatalities on the boulevard, and all six happened in this two and a half mile stretch. The audit team saw what we had been reporting since May. Pedestrians and bicyclists darting dangerously across the road outside of marked crosswalks. On their walk, the engineers were able to pinpoint dozens of deficiencies that could be contributing to this behavior. Long distances between signalized intersections, pedestrians having to wait too long for walk signals. Signals improperly timed, not giving people enough time to cross. This signal here at Ridgely gives you 28 seconds to get across the street, but auditors found out that it actually should be 10 seconds longer to meet the minimum safety standard. They also found parking lots paved too close to sidewalks and driveways too close to intersections, such as this one south of Willow Ridge. There were four pedestrian crashes here, three of them deadly. Auditors also discovered that the bus stops often lack places for people to safely wait and get on the bus, as well as finding nearby crosswalks to get to those bus stops. Where we are here at the Home Depot Plaza, there are a number of bus stops on either side of the boulevard, but in order to get to the nearest intersection for some of those bus stops, you have to go about 600 feet to the north. The study also found that 10 out of the 11 intersections had handicap accessibility issues, such as the button being too high or too low or too far away from the curb. Other glaring issues found during the walk audit? Well, in the area of Ridgely Road, auditors found that pedestrians have to walk even farther because of these turning lanes. And the medians don't extend into the intersections to give people a place to stop if they absolutely need to. And they found this. The fact that there are no curbs to deter drivers from driving onto the sidewalk. Well, the town of Amherst had accepted a charter back in May to work with the town of Tonawanda to assess the entire corridor. So we asked them, what about the three and a half mile stretch south of Ridgely Road? They tell me at this time they do not have plans to do that. As for this report, we're told this is going to be accepted by the town board in Amherst on October 1st, and it will then be sent to the state DOT. Reporting in Amherst, Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.